Okay, can everybody hear me? Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Can you guys hear me now? Yes, but echoes. Tracy, can you hear me now? You can hear me. Yay. Oh my gosh. Thank you. So what a what a weird blunder <laughs> this morning. Thank you for being so patient. Now I'll repeat everything that I said before when my mouth was moving and my voice wasn't being heard. So what's going on today is um, Lonnie has coronavirus. So poor Lonnie missed Christmas. Uh, we actually made food and put it in a big plastic tub for her and drove it over to her house, brought her presents and basically opened the door, put it in and kind of kicked it across the room to her. So Lonnie did not get to celebrate Christmas with us. She was stuck in the house sick. Um, she is doing well though. She has a fairly light case of it, but she's really wiped out. So I don't know if you guys have, if any of you have had coronavirus, um, but thankfully she has it much lighter than a lot of other people do, but she's just really wiped out with her energy. So she's staying at home today too. She's doing her whole uh, quarantine. So she'll be spending the next week and probably another week or maybe a week and a half in bed. So if you'd like to wish Lonnie well, please do. And I will pass along all your well wishes for her. So in her place, we have my partner, Bob. And he and I are trying to figure out all the stuff that Lonnie normally does for us. So we're like, why is our microphone not working? Ah, you know, it seems so easy when Lonnie's here. She just streamlines everything. Uh, so he and I were really having a hard time trying to coordinate the computers and the sound and all of that. So we do apologize for the delay and any issues getting started. Um, but it is what it is. It sounds like just the uh, tail end of 2020. <laughs> what else can happen? <laughs> So I see a whole bunch of you in the room. Thank you, Tracy, for bearing with us and being so patient. Bernadette, hello. Thank you for letting me know you can hear me. Uh, we've got some more people in here. Robin Matusik's in. Hi. Nice to see you, Robin. We've got Alexis, Mary Flynn. Thank you, Mary. I will let Lonnie know. Yeah, poor, I called her right before the show. I was trying to get her to log in from home from her from her, from her bed, from her sick bed. How terrible. <laughs> but she was just not up for it. So, uh, so anyways, I will introduce Bob in a minute here and um, allow you guys to become familiar with him. So today's show I'm really excited about. And let's see if, if uh, my, my brand new partner that got a two minute training can figure this out. Bob, can you put the card up on the screen? So go into brand. Yep. Okay, he's got it. So, yep. So there we go. We're going to be talking about manifesting. Woohoo! It's almost New Year's Eve. And that is why I'm wearing my very special New Year's Eve witch hat, which I made last night. <laughs> so if you guys remember my Christmas hat, I just took all the decorations off and I went and bought some special little creatures up here and just put them all on here to like, you know, just like, feel very holiday-ish and, and kind of feel like celebrating and bringing in the new year the right way. So 2021 is going to be fabulous. And you know what? We just had a great conjunction with Jupiter and Mars being so close together. That fell on the solstice. Um, every day is getting longer and brighter now. Thank goodness I was done with those short, dark days. We have so many things in the cosmos that are aligning for this to be a spectacular year. So I really want to help you guys get on top of things and make sure that you're really releasing 2020 and manifesting everything that you want in 2021. So we're going to talk about some tools that are really, really beneficial and helpful to help you manifest well. Of course, we'll always be giving away another supercharged love charm bag. So if you want to be in the drawing for this this week, make sure you write in the comments, hashtag love charm bag, and Bob will be selecting somebody today uh, to be the winner, and then we'll mail this off to you. It's the only place you can get one. You can't buy these anywhere. We make them specially. Lonnie and I do. We bless them, 
And we just make sure that they're really supercharged to help you attract in love. So um, we love to send these out to you every single week as our way of thanking you for tuning in, as our way of increasing and raising the love vibration on the planet and helping you bring in more and more love. So, okay. So before we get started, um, <laughs> thank you, Tracy. You adore my hat. I wasn't even sure. Like I thought this little thing here was a little big, but I'm like, now that I'm seeing it on camera, I think I really love it. <laughs> so that was fun for me to put together. Okay. Hi, Alexis. Uh, okay, we got a whole bunch of more people logging in. So before we go any further, we're going to talk about manifesting. And I'm going to introduce you to Bob, my partner, and ask him some of his thoughts about manifesting. And then I'll share a whole bunch of juicy secrets and tips to help you really get in the vibe for the new year. Because like, this is what I want you to know. Resolutions feel like giving something up, losing something. And what do you do when you lose something? You try to find it and get it back, right? So like, let's say you you lose 10 bucks. You're like, oh, I lost 10 bucks. You kind of look around like, I want to find that money. Maybe it's a hundred, maybe it's a thousand. But when you lose something, there's always this innate desire to find it and get it back. So when it comes to the new year, I'd really rather have you shift from resolution and, and giving up bad things and trying to make like a lot of challenges for yourself to ease into the idea of manifesting and just clearing your thought patterns about what you truly, truly want and clearing the way for it so that it can come in for you. Okay. So we're going to be making some shifts here that will allow you to actually use the law of attraction and manifest the life you want without all the hard work. So Bob, would you like to come and say hi? I sure would. You can just leave that one. <laughs> He's over there with happy fingers and all kinds of banners are coming up. So uh, we hello, just know everyone. <laughs> so this is Bob. Hello. Many, many of you guys already know Bob. If you guys know Bob, give him a hello in the chat. Um, so Bob has actually taken all of my classes. Mm -hmm. So he and I do a lot of manifesting together. We do a lot of healing together. And um, it's so beneficial when you have a partner that knows the same things you do, because you can really help each other out when one gets stuck on something. And when it comes to manifesting your dreams, you can both having two in alignment is very, very powerful, whether it's your partner your best friend, your son or daughter, someone that you're really close with that you talk to a lot. It's really important to hold that um, energy together. Oh, Tracy is saying hi to you. Hi, Tracy. Mary. Hi, Mary Flynn. Robin. <laughs> Everybody, Alexis. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Glad to be with you. Yeah. All these technological um, uh, glips and blips probably were attributable to my uh, lack of experience. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm trying hard. I'm working at it. <laughs> so, Bob, why don't you tell everybody um, your favorite way to manifest? Oh, boy. So, so many different things and methodologies we've used. But uh, uh -huh. probably my favorite is, uh, as you know, uh, Diana is a Theta healer. And I've taken all of her Theta Healing classes. And for me, uh, you know, to look forward and to manifest, it's very important for you to clear up your, uh, your past. And Theta certainly gets into that. Uh, your fears, uh, your uh, genetic uh, uh, things that you inherit and, and come along uh, through, no, <laughs> through no fault of your own, so to speak. But uh, if we can get to those blocks, things that are causing us some difficulty, uh, and clear them and heal uh, some of the fears or the anxieties. Uh, to me, that's once you have that clean slate or relatively uh, clean slate until you discover new ones, which you always will. Uh, <laughs> but as you clear that up, it's much easier, from in my opinion, to move forward and to manifest uh, the dreams of your future. What's uh, 
what's going to take place. Yes, he, he's exactly right because, and we have some Theta Healers in here. Well, Tracy signed up to take to become a Theta Healer next month. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Trisha. She joined us. You're going to love that, Tracy. Um, yeah, so Tracy will be doing that next month. Mm -hmm. Mary Flynn is a Theta Healer. Yes. Robin Matusik is a Theta Healer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if I saw anybody else logged in who was. But anyways, it, the Theta Healing Technique is one of my favorites because, of course, I use all the magic and I always use all the techniques possible for manifesting, including visualization, vision boards. We use the cup of water and I'll go through those a little bit, break them down so that you have some skills mm -hmm. to use with you. But by far, my favorite is the actually the Theta Healing mm -hmm. because when you're like saying, I want to have this and then you really tune in with it, you can find your own blocks. You can go, what, what's standing in my way? Why don't I have that? Why do I think this is out of reach? Why do I think this needs to take time? Why do I think this should be difficult? Well, well I think it, you, know? you discover so many things that you really had no idea were even there. Yes. And so yeah. now you once you make that discovery, uh, much easier to deal with that then and to clear them and heal them. And, uh, Absolutely. Uh, and move forward. It's like you find those blocks and they really are just like blocks or a belief system block. And with the tool of data healing, you grab that, pull it out and replace it with something that helps you achieve your dreams. So I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love the theta classes, Die, You have some theta classes coming up too in January, correct? Yes. Um, yes, do I do. Series or do you have yes, I'm going to be doing the basic, advanced and dig deeper. Um, I also teach the manifesting in abundance. I've been an instructor for manifesting in abundance for about a decade, but I do not have my my um, certificate to teach that one online yet. The other three will be offered online. So I'm working on the other one so I can add that to my repertoire and make more available for you guys. <laughs> but anyway, the um, the amazing thing that we were talking about with manifesting and being able to remove your own blocks that's the that's the most powerful. But um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna share a whole bunch of other ones for you as well. I also have, and I have a special right now on my Master Your Dreams Masterclass, which is like a 30-page downloadable PDF to help you get really clear, to help you find some of your own blocks. Um, I have a 50-minute masterclass that discusses manifesting in great detail. And then a 20 minute meditation to actually help you connect in in that meditation and have those blocks healed and released. So I address some of the most common blocks to achieving your dreams. Of course, in a private session, you get way more particular, but in this manifesting, uh, manifest your dreams masterclass, it is really, really powerful and really helpful. I do have that for a special right now for just 197. So if that's interesting for you, check that out down in the links below. But we're going to also talk about how to manifest with dream boards, vision boards. Um, I've got a God box, you know, and which one is the best? Have you used any of the other techniques? Oh, yeah. We used all, you know, I've used all of them. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot yeah. of fun with this and yeah. uh, they're helpful, but they're enjoyable. And uh, it is fun. It, it, the fun and uh, uh, rewarding. Don't you think that fun is also part of it? Fun has to be a part of your life. Let's say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you know, when you're manifesting, if you can keep your vibration high, mm -hmm. your manifestation can come in quicker because you're connecting with the creative energy of all the energy that moves through the universe. Mm -hmm. But when you manifest for something that seems difficult or challenging or out of reach, you all of a sudden, you if you pay attention to the way your body feels, you'll feel out of power. You'll feel like, oh, God, that's too difficult or you'll feel so hopeful, like it's got to be like a big miracle to bring it to you. And, and the gap becomes too far. So the trick in manifesting is to make it so believable that you're feeling it in your life and that you're feeling the gratitude for it, not that it's way out there and you hope to get there someday. So the closer you can close that gap, the better. And that's what all manifesting is based on. Well, I think the joy and the happiness and the fun of, of doing those exercises, though, um... To me, it does raise your energy level yes. because you're enjoying it. Yeah. You know, your energy is going to be flowing at a higher rate. And uh, right. you know, that, that law of attraction then is going to um, bring that kind of life too. Right. It works. Yeah. Like, let's say, for instance, if you're 
you know, planning a vacation and you're thinking about what you want to do on vacation, like we just went to Florida. So we'll mm -hmm. use that for an example. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're planning that vacation and you're thinking about, OK, I want to have a vacation and I want these components to it. You start to think about, like, am I seeing people or am ha I having time alone? Do I just want to lay on the beach or do I want to be a tourist and see and do everything? So you start to design it in your mind and you start to think about it and you start to actually create energy pathways mm -hmm. to all the things that you're planning to do. And if you're really in alignment, you, you will actually create exactly that vacation. Exactly. And you'll be able to do all those things. Um, so that's a form of manifesting. And when you're thinking about it, you're looking into the details of it. It's becoming concrete. It's becoming real for you. And you can close your eyes and feel it. You know, like before we went to Florida, I was like, what I really need is just a very isolated trip and just lay on the beach with, you know, no communication, no cell phones, no work. I just, no TV, no distractions. I just wanted me and Bob time and I just wanted to lay on the beach and I could close my eyes and see it and picture it and feel it. And then we actually had the greatest luck. Mm -hmm. Not only did we find the best place to rent and stay a little cottage right on the beach away from the rest of the retreat, but there were a couple cabins beside us and they were all empty. <laughs> so we're really good at manifesting empty restaurants, empty movie theaters, empty patios, empty beaches, you know, mm -hmm. because we always have this desire to spend quality time together and not have a lot of distractions. So we manifested that. Empty parking places. Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah. Who, who, who manifests empty parking places? I know you guys do. <laughs> and it's really good to practice with things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so the more you can actually embody what you're manifesting, the more it doesn't seem big. It doesn't seem like a leap. It seems like your next logical step, mm -hmm. your, your next most natural step, because you've closed the gap. And that's what all manifesting is about. <laughs> you close that gap, you narrow any blocks and uh, and you'll be attracted to it. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, and Robin's saying focus is the key. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, so and therein lies the meditation too, you know, that, yes. that you have, it's awesome. And, yeah. Um, oh yeah. Thank you. Yes. And that, yeah, what Bob was saying in the master class, it will actually help you get that, that clarity. Well, the 30 page guide actually helps you work through your own stuff mm -hmm. to get that specific clarity. Right. Um, a lot of times, like even when in a private session, when I'm working with people on manifesting things, they think they have an idea of what they want. And within five minutes of talking to them, they're completely confused. And it's like, wow, there's a lot of stuff. That's why it's not coming because it's like they're making a backup plan if it doesn't work. And they're making all these different and it's like oh you're you're sending way too many signals out to the universe just get really really clear and get really specific and then start to close that gap mm -hmm. and most of that will be in your belief system most of that will be in your feeling system and the other component is to already feel the gratitude for it before it arrives and that's how you close that gap okay and then you put on really lovely hats and uh, yes. bring your energy level up. You have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> things start to happen. <laughs> yes. All the magic just starts happening. So well, going back over to the technical. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. One more thing. One more thing. Do you remember the one way we manifested when we used the two cups? Uh, the cup. Yeah. Yeah. You poured one. I'll say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you guys might see this on YouTube videos where you take one cup of water and you write what you want on the cup. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. On the empty cup. Mm -hmm. You write everything that you want and then you take another cup. I know I think you write thank you or something. And then the other cup, you really concentrate on everything that you want to bring into your life. And then you pour it into the cup. Let it sit in there with all that gratitude, feeling everything that you want, and then you drink the water so it literally goes into your body. I oh, thought yeah. I thought that was a mm -hmm. fun one. Do you remember yeah. us doing I that? I do now. I do not. We've done so dang many things. <laughs> we go, water? What? What? I know. And then we do New Year's uh, manifesting, which I'd mm -hmm. like to talk about too. Mm -hmm. We always do New Year's manifesting. Mm -hmm. Well, we write down uh, everything that we are. We would like to see happen in the mm -hmm. next year mm -hmm. and that we have those are short-term uh, 
uh, manifestations. And then we we still we have some long term things that we check up on that we uh, that we are see how our progress is going. Right. And, uh, yep. And then redo the list for the coming year. Yes. And it's a beautiful time. That, and that's why I want to encourage you guys to all do this. If you if you have plans for New Year's, if you're going out, you want to do this ahead of time. If you're going to be at home, turn it into like your special date night with yourself, a ritual night where you can really hone in on your own energy, really become focused about what you want to bring in this year. Don't sit around and wait to like see what 2021 is bringing in. Don't wait to see if the government's giving these mm -hmm. stimulus checks. <laughs> Don't wait to see what all else is going on around you before you decide what you want. Get clear about what you decide that you want to have and then start bringing it to you. Breaking down those blocks and barriers and feeling the gratitude and closing the gap so that you can be in charge of your life. Be in charge of 2021. Um, that's my best advice for you this year is to my do that. best advice is to take one of those classes or take a class <laughs> as a refresher class. I've had them all at least once and yes, most of them twice. That's true. That's uh, true. Because I sit in sometimes if you have an odd number of students to make sure that we have even numbers. And yes. I'm always uh, very willing to do that because I, I always, always, always get something new out of it. That's true. So refreshing uh, yourself on those if you have the time and the inclination, uh, always very beneficial, I think. Yes, absolutely. For me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate Bye, it. Bye, everybody. Bob's I hope you go... don't see me again because I mean it's a technical difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Love the love with. <laughs> so the other thing is, okay, so the, the vision boards, I think everybody knows about vision boards now. Um, oh, we got some more people tuning in. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Diana. Diana Waddell's here. Welcome. Um, so the vision boards, I love them. I have one in over there in my closet right now. I do those periodically throughout the year. I just go through magazines or I find pictures online of all the things that I want, cut them out, paste them onto a board where I can visually see them. Now that type of manifesting is all about your mind seeing something in a picture form, not a word, but like the picture of it it actually starts to make um, imprints, like little impressions in your mind. And it's a way of programming your mind to go out and get it, to bring it into your life easily, to feel very normal around it. So the more you can actually be around the environment of what you're trying to create, the more it actually helps your subconscious mind to receive it. So that's why vision boards are so helpful. It's like a subtle way of programming you for that desired result or desired object. Uh, for me, there's a boat that I want to get. I've also got my my heart on, well, this year I want to buy a home, I want to buy a boat, and I want to travel around in a refurbished RV because, have you seen those? They're so cute. <laughs> they're really cute. I mean, they're not like the old RVs. They've got fireplaces, they're like big wide windows. They like literally re have redone the whole thing. It's a whole different layout. Um, they're super, super cute. So anyway, I have my heart set on one of those. And then Bob and I can just travel around the country when we have to go do book signings and speaking to people. And we'll like be able to travel in our little, our cool little vehicle and have all our Wi-Fi in there. So one of us can work and one of us can drive. Um, anyways, so I'm very specific. I know exactly what it is that I want this year. And yes, I have pictures of it on my vision board. I also use a god box and so that's just i have a um, black box with a lid on it and i also put things in there so this one works a little bit differently where the vision board is subtly programming your subconscious to receive it at all times the god box is more like handing it over and allowing your spirit team to help you out whether that's your angels your spirit guides your loved ones and ancestors in the spirit world it's like, you know, here's what I want, and I'm just ordering it. And you literally drop your pictures in the box and shut the lid. So I've had success with both. Actually, last, not this past October, the October before, I decided I wanted to uh, get a new car. I wanted to have lower payments, and I wanted to have lower interest. But I was still repairing my credit from a previous divorce from many years ago. 
And so I wasn't really sure if they could work with me, you know, and I wanted his name off the title. There's all this stuff. And that morning I woke up with like an extra boost of energy and I took a picture of my car and I took a picture that um, a stamp that said paid boom. And then I put that in my God box and I called Bob and I said, Hey, will you go to the car, you know, the car dealership with me? I just want to see if there's anything they can resolve with me on this car loan. And he's like, Oh, okay. So he comes along with me. And at first, you know, the salesperson was like, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. You know, the loan is upside down. You know, the two, the interest was too high. So, you know, they're trying to finagle, nothing could be done. And then all of a sudden it was like a switcheroo happened and I left with no money down and I had a beautiful new car, exactly what I wanted with lower interest, lower payments. And my other car was completely paid off. So that's manifesting <laughs> and that works. So in that case, uh, that was the God box and it was a very fast result for me. Uh, so give that some thought and practice. Manifesting is always about practice. It pra I have a question for oh, you, sure. Diana. Sure. I and love questions. This comes from Mary. Okay. And she's asking, stating when she tries hey, to. Hey, honey, hit it, touch it. And then the um, click, click on her you. question. Click on her question. Click on it. See? Now it's on the screen. Okay. There okay. We go. You want me to read it? Yes, please. When I try to manifest for other things, I seem to make it more difficult. Okay. Is that because I don't believe I deserve what I'm manifesting? Great question, Mary Flynn. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. So there's like a part of you that doesn't actually, it's not even so much that you don't believe you deserve it. Um, it's, it's almost like you just, it doesn't feel real yet. Like it feels like you have missing feelings around it. So in that regard, I'd also like to say that's another thing that Theta Healing helps you with because where you have missing feelings, you can download them and then it's easier for you to feel like having these things is natural. So I know you're a Theta Healer, which is why I mentioned that because you can literally download that you are worthy and deserving of having it, that you know what it feels like to already have it. And put those feelings in your body to help aid the universe to bring it in for you more easily. Um, so that's because I know you have the skills to do that. But a lot of people, yes, they do actually block their manifestation because they don't feel worthy and deserving of having it. They don't know anybody else who has it. It seems like something that's unbelievable. So the more you can actually make it believable, by seeing it, witnessing it, being around people that have it, talk to people that have it, make it part of your quest to be surrounded in the energy of that, what you're trying to receive. And it will just become more normal to you in a way that you will just naturally vibrate there and it will become yours. And really, it's the same way it works with love. So if you're manifesting your love, it's the same. Whether it's a boat, a car, a house, a lover, your husband, your soulmate, whatever it is, it's the same. You're shifting your vibration to match it, and then it comes. I would love to post comments on here, but I can't get it to work. Oh, put it right where my name is, down at the bottom. I did. Okay, click. Yeah. Okay, are you on the keyboard? Yeah. Oh, what if I just go high? Yeah, there you go. How do I hit post? Um, hit enter. Hey, all right. <laughs> got it. Another miracle. Don't forget to say hello to Laura. I put her on the screen for you. Oh, oh, hi, Laura. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. So we have so so now Bob's figuring out the chat. So if you have some questions for Bob, please put those in. Also, if you're here to go into the drawing for the free love charm gift bag or the love charm, um, oh, a little hair on that. I will make sure it's not on there. I'm sure it was from my lovely wig. <laughs> um, the supercharged love charm bag. Do hashtag love charm bag in the chat box. And Bob's going to be selecting somebody today because Lonnie's sick with coronavirus. So Bob will be selecting the winner and we'll be mailing that off to you this week. Um, I also, let's see, is there anything else I want to share about some manifesting techniques? Yes. The other way that's real powerful to manifest is to think about everything you want 
just as you're falling asleep. Because when you fall asleep, it's almost like your mind stays right there in that vibration and allows you to hold it for longer while you're sleeping. It's the longest time that you will ever hold one picture or thought in your mind. And that's why when people go to bed and they're thinking about their day, they what usually create the same kind of day the next day. So you're reprogramming your subconscious when you're falling asleep. So if you can be mindful about that, and just as you're falling asleep, picture yourself on stage, picture yourself with the love of your life, picture yourself laid on the beach and how that feels and go to bed with this gorgeous smile on your face while you're feeling all these wonderful things of what you're manifesting and let that be your last thought of the day because that will, will hold so much space in your subconscious mind that it is very, very powerful. It's a wonderful, wonderful way to get fast results manifesting. Okay, Mary Klein's here. Hi, Mary. And boy, she's got the hashtag love charm bag. I know. And I saw some other people putting that in too. So we're writing those all of those down. And then Bob's going to be uh, selecting somebody by the end of the show to mail that to. Okay. Tracy, what does that say? No, canny, go too big. big. What? What did you say? You're seeing what I'm seeing there. Oh, okay. I don't know what you mean, Tracy. No, canny. Oh, maybe just no can. Go ahead. Go too big. Oh, you can never go too big. I think that's what you mean. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no, you're absolutely right. In fact, because of the alignment, with the great the great conjunction because of Jupiter and Saturn coming together, this is such a powerful energy that anything you're manifesting, whatever you're thinking right now that you really really want this year, multiply it by ten, okay? Because right now we are really being helped out by the universe. And I'll tell you another secret about manifesting. If you're trying to manifest something that really enhances or supports your life path, it will come really easily. It's like the universe wants to give it to you because they want you to be on your path. But if it takes you away from your path or it's a dis um, distraction from your path, then it might lose some momentum and not really come in that fast because it's like, really? You're just like doing scattered manifestations and you're not really getting anywhere that you want to get and trust me your soul wants to get somewhere your soul has things to do you came here for a reason and everyone's reason is completely different but the more you can actually be in, in, in integrity with what you feel passionate about doing the more the universe will help you manifest everything along that path so that's a part that you can really focus on to increase your manifestation as well and to increase how effective it is for you. Um, do we have any more questions about manifesting? Do you want to check the questions out? I, just, I don't see any here. Okay. You can kind of scroll up and down too. I'm not sure. I thought I saw some more come in over here. Does anybody have questions about manifesting? Um also, I'd like to say manifesting in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? Because water is a conductor. Manifesting in the bathtub helps really send the energy out of what you're manifesting. It's also a wonderful time to meditate, to have spirit contact, to talk with your loved ones in heaven, because water helps you get in between worlds. Okay. It's a conductor of energy and it's takes you into the womb of the unconscious. It's, it's a very, very amazing place. In fact, one of the things that Bob and I are going to do, we're going to have to make a video on it, I think. But we're going to go in a float tank because something I personally have been wanting to do for about 10 years. Um, and we just found this wonderful place that was having a special for the holidays where you go and you float in this really amazing salt water for like an hour in complete darkness. And... And it's so healthy and so healing for your body, but it's like out of this world for your mind. And it just empties out your mind and it releases all tension and feeling of your body. You don't even, you can't even feel that you're physical 
because you can't feel anything up against you as you're floating in this water. So I'm really excited about that. And he and I will definitely share our experiences when we get done doing that. But anytime you can be in the water uh, while you're manifesting, very powerful. Also, how about storyboards? What's that? Storyboards. Oh, yes. No, I, I talked about that, honey. You did? I must yes. not have been listening. What's wrong with me? <laughs> um, another thing is, if you live in an area that has vortexes, when you manifest in a vortex, the energy is increased. It's multiplied. It's very, very powerful. So that would be, you know, um, well, if it's an ancient type of structure or building, all the ancients knew to build on vortex areas. So it's very likely that those are vortexes. There are vortexes out in the woods. Uh, most Native Americans built their, their sacred grounds or burial mounds on vortexes. There are like, I love the Burlington vortex. When I go out and see my friend Mary Sutherland and go out into her magical woods, that's a very powerful vortex. Um, so that's a very powerful place to go to, to do anything. Also a Montana vortex out of this world powerful. I mean, there's vortexes everywhere and in every country. So going to one specifically to manifest and being really, really clear, focused, feeling it, feeling the gratitude and just sending the energy off from there. Wow, that's really, really powerful. So maybe some of you can make a field trip to one of these places to set off your manifestation and really really jumpstart 2021 the right way. Speaking of 2021, I have not heard you speak one word, Diana, about your new book that you just finished. Oh, that's right. Yes. The love book. Um, do you want to grab it, hon? It's on the kitchen table. I'd love to. <laughs> He'd love to because it's the love book. <laughs> um, yes. Well, the first one, we, we just, we published it and then the cover was like not looking, it was a little blurry, like we didn't, there was a problem embedding the, the font apparently. So the, this one looks much better. It's just a little bit more clear. So yeah, thanks. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, the love book. <laughs> okay. And so the secret to finding your soulmate, there's goodies in here. And of course it's embedded with some magic to increase your love vibration and help you attract your soulmate. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to check out my book. It's available on Amazon. Okay, let me check out. I'm gonna shake these up and pull some magical hearts for you for some more messages. And if you have any questions, please also let me know that. Oh, Robin's saying, I wanted to do the float tank also. I've heard many people talk about having spiritual experiences. Yes, just like being in the womb. Absolutely, Robin. Um, actually, the first time I learned about it was when I was exploring all the different techniques for mediumship. It is very, very powerful for helping you heighten your awareness of the spirit world around you because we're not actually feeling our physical body and we're feeling the separateness of like the chair, the wall when you're just you're actually tuning into more of your spiritual energy and being in the spirit world our, our awareness that we are really spiritual beings right and we just like live in here in this meat suit for a while <laughs> so yes i'm really excited about it i i think this is gonna be a really great thing for us um and there's so many benefits to it so if you guys have a float tank near you you should definitely check that out we're going to one, I think, south of the cities. Was it in Burnsville or mm. somewhere? It's about an hour away, but it's worth it. Okay, so I've got, here we go. Whoa, somebody. No, nope. this isn't even something I've done, but somebody needs to go join a dating app, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> not me. You know, what are you looking at me for? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just seeing if you're paying attention. No, <laughs> it really is me. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, no, so somebody is going to be joining a dating app, and that's great. Not, It's not the right process for everybody, and you have to have discernment, of course, because you just wouldn't go out with anybody. But it's a wonderful way to get your energy prepared for meeting people. In fact, I always tell people sometimes they will join a dating app and then meet somebody randomly at the grocery store. 
But what it does is literally tell the universe, I'm ready. I'm ready to put myself out there. I'm ready to meet people. So even if your person doesn't come through the dating app, it is saying yes to the universe. So some of you are going to be doing this. And, you know, I do, I do know couples that have met and married from going online um, on dating apps. So, hey, if that's a fit for you, give that a whirl. There's somebody that's, that's been thinking about it and doubting it. And I, I would say that if it's been on your mind, this is your confirmation to just go ahead and do it. Okay. Um, so let's see here. My little black bag. Okay. All right. This is uh, level up. I love it because that's exactly what we're talking about with manifesting. Hey, hon, yeah. can you take the card off the screen now? Go back to, yeah. oh, do you know how? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so level up is exactly what we're talking about. And that's exactly why we're utilizing manifesting techniques. I mean, the thing is, you're manifesting anyway. You're manifesting 24-7 all the time. But if you don't take ownership of that, then who knows what you're drawing in? If you're a lazy manifester, you're just going to take what comes. And then a lot of that might be trouble or conflict or struggle or sickness. But when you get real clear, you can have more uh, ability to actually live the life that you really want to, that would really, really make you happy. So don't be lazy in your manifesting. Okay. Get really clear, do the work to figure it out, get real, real clear, and then employ any one of these or multiple manifesting techniques to help you achieve it. And really what it's doing is helping you stay focused so the universe can bring it to you with the law of attraction. So lots and lots of fun manifesting techniques out there. Uh, okay. Oh, Robin says that would be a good fit for her going through that right now. Great little message. Good. Good, Robin. Well, then I'm glad you tuned in because... Like I said, somebody was thinking about it, and that's why I selected that heart. So I'm glad that that fit for you, and uh, I can't wait to hear all about it. I hope you meet some great people and someone special. Okay, let's pick another one. And what time do we have there, honey? 12.50 p.m. Okay, we're almost done. If anybody wants the love charm bag, make sure you're in there with hashtag love charm bag. It's almost time to pick. Okay. Okay, perfect. So what we have here is release the past. Can you think of anything more powerful or beautiful to do for yourself going into the new year? <laughs> I think that this is very powerful. The past has already led you here, but the past is in the past. The past, there's nothing you can do to change it. There's nothing you can do to um, go, you know, to stay there. You can't stay there no matter what has happened or occurred. You've already lived that once and now you're living this moment. But if you don't release the past, you're just like in a loop where you're reliving the same past in the present moment and the future moment and the next future moment. So it's, sometimes it's very difficult to learn how to clear that so that you truly can be present and move forward. So I want you to be very mindful as you move into 21, 2021. And in that, I will say this. Keep in mind that with what I just said, that's accurate and true. When you speak of the past, you reinstill it into your now. And that means you're recreating it in your future through the law of the universe, okay? So when you move into 2021, refrain in every possible way, refrain from looking back upon 2020 in a negative way, refrain about talking about it like this was a difficult year, this was the worst year of your life, blah, blah, you know, and whenever you talk about the things, if you lost your money, if you were sick or if you lost people that were special to you and you talk about the struggle, the isolation, the court, you know, every time 
you talk about it, you're actually adding to the to the energy of it in the collective. And you're actually staying in that vibration yourself. So make one very, very big promise to yourself this year on New Year's. Bless it for being in the past and step into 2021 with all your manifesting goals laid out for yourself. Be really positive, be very focused and have fun with it as you start to really create your reality, no matter what the past has been. So I would like to leave you with that message because I think it's really, really important to shift that consciousness as we move into a new cycle here and a new cycle where we're cosmically super supported in having everything we want. Okay. So Bob, do you have somebody? Oh, very difficult, but <laughs> I have decided on Mary Klein. Mary Klein. <laughs> All righty, Mary Klein, you won the supercharged love charm bag. Congratulations. Uh, did we get her name and address and that sort of thing that we need? Well, or yeah, we don't know exactly where you live, Mary. So we're going to have to get that from you in the chat. If you want to type that in um, privately to either me or Bob, then we will make sure that you get this. And Oh, you'll smell the lavender. You'll love it. It's just a magical little bag. So I know you know all about these because you've been tuning in pretty regularly. Um, but this time you won. So congratulations. Okay, you guys. I just want to thank you all so much. And uh, another little reminder, if you were interested in working through some of these clearing blocks and all that stuff, and you're interested in the Manifesting Your Dreams Masterclass, that is in the links below. It's on a special right now for $197, and it's a 30-page downloadable book, a 50-minute masterclass, and a 20-minute meditational clearing. So, yeah, if that's interesting for you, be sure you do that and get into this new year really super clear. Hello, I just wanted to thank everyone for uh, bearing with me. <laughs> I had a lot of fun and I've learned a lot. And now I think I could actually step in and uh, be of value. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll have to get Bob a wig too, maybe. No, I don't think so. Maybe pink. I think that hair is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about pink glasses? Yeah, that, that might work. I or maybe that. a pink shirt. Or... We'll explore that. We'll explore. I'm up for it. <laughs> Thank you all. I would recommend that you go to Diana's website. It's very simple, www.dianapalm.com. <laughs> yes. Robin uh, says, good job, Bob. I <laughs> uh, appreciate that. Thank you. But she has so many things to <laughs> offer that, you know, if she went down the list of everything that she has to offer uh, in one of these sessions, uh, that's all we'd be listening to is all of her offerings. So uh, do yourself a favor. Check out the, the things that she has available to you. And, yeah. Uh, You'll enjoy them. I have. Thank you. Hey, and if you want a witch hat like this, I literally got these all at Michael's craft store last night yeah. and just like stuck them on. Wait a second. I was in on that process. I know. He helped me pick them out. <laughs> right, right. How did he do? We were, we were indecisive for a little while. And then I'm like, uh, uh, we went back to the big ginormous flower, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Bye, everyone. All happy right. holidays to you. Yes. Happy New Year, everybody. We'll Bring in 2021 in the new energy with a big smile on your face, expecting love, abundance. The love which will return. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>